A Midland Railway Dealey Compound 440 sweeps past at Cheltenham Spa on a rail tour. This is Midland Railway number 1000, which was preserved in working order in the late 1950s. Here she's seen on the Midland Railway's main line to the West Country, from Birmingham to Bristol. A little further north on this main line is Ashchurch. Here, in the sidings of Messrs Doughty's premises, LMS Stania Pacific No. 6201 Princess Elizabeth, in immaculate LMS livery, gives footplate rides up and down the line. She looks like a caged animal, but at this time, British Railways had imposed a ban on steam locomotives operating on the main lines and enthusiasts thought that the future lay only in short demonstration lines such as this. The great preservation movement which exists today was born from the seed sown in places like this. Of course, since then, the locomotive has been given her freedom to run on the main line. Princess Elizabeth was built at Crewe in 1933 as the second engine of the 12-strong Princess class. These locomotives were the first Pacific design for the LMS. They were used on the principal expresses from Euston along the West Coast Main Line to Liverpool and Glasgow. We're now on the train at Ashchurch. It was a triple junction. A line to the left went to Malvern Wells to connect with the Great Western. To the right, a line went to Birmingham via Evesham. It's the latter that number 1000 takes in order to go via Evesham on its way to Derby Midland. The first railway to reach Derby was the line to Hampton in Arden on the London and Birmingham Railway on the 12th of August 1839. The line taken by the special avoided the famous Licky Incline. Other forms of transport are seen outside the imposing facade of Derby Midland Station namely a trolley bus and diesel bus of Derby Corporation and a motorcycle and sidecar. Number 1000 passes through its birthplace, admired by several enthusiasts in their raincoats. Number 1000 was built at Derby in 1902 as number 2631. She was rebuilt and superheated in 1914 and it's in this condition that she is preserved as seen here. She was designed under the auspices of Samuel Waite Johnson, locomotive superintendent of the Midland Railway from 1873 to 1903. Today, she resides at the National Railway Museum at York. Not an orange jacket or anorak in sight. A queue of fans forms to board the footplate, and it's a tight squeeze to get off. 